American author and legendary investor Jim Rogers, co-founder of the Quantum Fund with George Soros, has chosen to live in Singapore because low taxes, good infrastructure and stability may make it a main world financial centre, he thinks. Indonesians had rather come here just because they're worried about what might happen in Switzerland. Switzerland's not as sound as it used to be, it's certainly not as... Uh, as uh, confidential as it used to be. Uh, I have money in Switzerland, don't get me wrong, but more and more people are looking for other havens. The private banking sector has grown by about 80% in the last 10 years. Banking secrecy and favorable withholding tax rules have attracted many new clients, including almost all the important Swiss banks. Singapore wants to play the transparency card, so it moved very quickly in 2009 to comply with the OECD standards, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Swiss wealth manager Urs Bruch has a lot of experience in the sector. His clients are mainly in Asia and aren't much affected by the situation in Europe. But he thinks that all the international centers will eventually be subjected to the same rules. I don't think that taking advantage of the money which supposedly could be leaving Switzerland would be good for Singapore. Maybe there are some German clients who will place the money in Singapore, but it's not a long-term solution, neither for the bank nor for the client. Singapore has always considered Switzerland as a role model and is trying to learn from its experience in private banking. We have all the so-called driver in Asia, growth, uh, income, etc. We don't need to push uh, the case too much, mainly because if we do so, it might attract unnecessary regulatory uh, tension. So flying fast but low enough to avoid the radars seems the recipe for success.